Talking, talking with famous people. About uh, utilitarianism and um, whoever the founder of it was. And I, the whole fucking time, I am now, since then, been against utilitarianism just because he, he was talking about it. And obviously, I was negating it just in my head. And well, so, there's a good reason to be against it. It justifies anything. It, yeah. You can justify anything with utilitarianism. And all of that, the, the, the foul set scene with it was that it's, it's inherently impossible to try to quantify any kind of moral actions in the first place, especially on the basis of attempting to say, you know, do the best, do whatever way it makes each individual happiest, happiest, considering that, like, that is entirely and completely subjective. And as simple that, as that sounds, it's like, the, the first thing that comes to mind is like, well, what if he's a serial killer? Would you let him kill somebody? You know, because it would make them happy. Would it make, if, what if, what if there was like a, a person who was like extremely depressed and an extremely um, fucking person who homicidal, right? They would get more happiness derived from killing this individual than, you know what I'm saying? Right, but that's not the problem with you, Till, because even if we can't agree upon the good, namely that that doesn't count, it doesn't matter because we're relying on predicted outcomes. So it's predicted that if we make marijuana illegal and arrest people for it, that people will stop using marijuana and that that's going to be a good thing. And so let's go ahead and make that law. That's a utilitarian law. What happens? People still do the marijuana and now there's all these additional harms that are unnecessary and unjust. That's utilitarianism? I mean, that's a, that would be a... I mean, problem. how else would you couldn't justify any kind of drug laws with a rights-based framework because it's violating your right to bodily integrity. I have the right to put one in my body whatever the fuck I want. Well, it's still, I mean, the idea of it is still wrong. I don't think, it, I don't think it's a flaw in, in uh, utilitarianism. I think it's flawed with the saying that in general. That'd be like saying, like, like the, that um, because somebody smoking cigarettes hurts them, ultimately, that no one's allowed to smoke cigarettes. You know, that would be ultimately filed under utilitarianism, but it's still not a good concept on its own terms. But it would be defined as utilitarianism. Okay, well, I mean, that's the thing. With all those sort of health laws and shit, right? They're justified not because the behavior is, is, a, is itself a crime. It's not a crime for me to speed or to have marijuana. It's a, it's a law breaking, but it's not a crime because crimes require somebody to be injured or somebody to be trespassed upon. Really? Real crimes do, yeah. We have defined criminal behavior to be something else. Whatever breaks the law, but that's not how it's supposed to be. I just got what you're saying. Yeah, I was missing that because I've thought, I've thought that before. And it's that, um, it, well, this is an interesting thing, right? Because I argue with my, well, I argue with my psychology teacher because they were basically trying to um, warrant um, any kind of physical, physical punishment of a child, right? And I was suggesting that if a child goes to school, right, it beats the shit out of another kid, right? And then comes home, and instead of saying, you've done something wrong, you should feel guilty for hitting that child, you're going to beat the hell out of the kid. The kid isn't going to go to school and not beat the hell out of the kid now because he knows it's wrong. He's, he's not going to go hell, go to school and beat the hell out of the kid because he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want to get his fucking, he don't want to get beat up. And that, all that does is instill um, some kind of warrant for egocentrism, saying that I'm not going to hurt somebody else because I'm afraid I'll get hurt. And that just like zaps any kind of like moral foundations of the individual. You know what I'm saying? So like if you're saying that a person's not allowed to speed because they have the potential of harming somebody else instead of saying, we don't want you to speed because you have the potential of hurting another person. It, I can see what you're saying now. Well, additionally, if you think about the marijuana, right? I, I was guilty of possession of marijuana. When these cops took it from me, they now possess the marijuana. Why are they not guilty of possession of marijuana? Right? No. Why aren't they guilty of possession of paraphernalia? They have them. It's in their possession. Talking, talking with famous people.